We're doing high school band. Oh, no. I don't know what this music says. I don't even know how band kids do it. It was so difficult. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Jasmine. And this is Redo, where we go back to high school and try not to make the same mistakes twice. This time, we're doing high school band. As always, just a reminder, we're following all the COVID best practices, because just because we're friends doesn't mean we're immune. I was in band in middle school. I had to hold down my family name with the clarinets because my mom and all her damn sisters played it. I originally wanted to play the drums, but I was told I had to play the clarinet. I was in choir basically my entire life. I don't know why I can't sing for the life of me. My mom is a musical human being. She played clarinet like first chair, Ooh. head of the marching band Ooh. with the like hat thing and the little Ooh. thing. So first we got to choose an instrument. Then we got to meet with a high school band instructor and have classes. And then we got to learn the music and then we got to practice. And then we got to put on a performance for our friends, like a little halftime show. <laughs> so now we got to choose our instruments. We should have known in fifth grade when Jasmine wanted to be a drummer that Jasmine was also going to be a lesbian. And now here I am, a fully formed lesbian, ready to play the drums. I think I want to play clarinet. I want to follow in those footsteps of my mom. So we're really just going to have a clarinet and drums making a song together. <laughs> my true goal of this week is to just like learn. I'm not going to be a professional, but I hope I can at least carry a tune. I don't know how I'm supposed to practice because my walls are so thin. Clarinets are pretty loud. They are. Maybe go to an open field. Open <laughs> <No> field. <laughs> So we got our instruments mm. in the mail. Yes. Here I am, and here's my drum. So I have my clarinet in this box. Let's open it. I got sticks. Ooh. It's all in pieces. I guess that means I have to figure out how to put it together. <laughs> Mine came with like three parts, and two of those parts was the stand. So I just had to figure that out. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's tools. Does this part hold the drum? What should I call her? I would normally call her Betty, but... Normally? We got a dog named Betty. Wow. I don't know how to do this. Here's my drum. Me and... Betty too. <laughs> So I then called my mother, who was first chair clarinet in high school. The one in your left hand goes on top. On top of this? Yes. Mentioned so many things that I had no idea mattered. She was like, make sure you are like sucking on your reed for like a few minutes before you play. Your reed has to be exactly this like distance from the top. I was in over my head. How come you ended up with the clarinet as opposed to something else? I wanted to, because I wanted to impress you. <laughs> So we had our first band practice with a real life teacher. All my students call me Mr. T and I'm going to be showing both of you how to play our very own quarantine tune or what I like to call quarantine. I'm excited. Mr. T was so sweet. He was so sweet, so happy. He was one of those guys that like, you just know he's a good teacher. I love this. I love it, it's so good. When I first heard the song, I was terrified. It was so fast, and I was like, how am I gonna get my hands to move that fast? Well, to start off with percussion. He introduced how I should like hold my drumsticks and like where the length should be when I stand up. I was playing the drum upside down. I thought it was like reversible. <laughs> you wanna work towards the bounces being consistent and that's gonna give you a buzz roll. And it's gonna sound like this. And you'll have a couple spots where you're gonna do it for two counts long. I thought it was really, really tough that I was trying to like read this music. I have a really good way of breaking it down. And that's if you say cheeseburger. Cheeseburger walrus, wow. So he taught me to basically like not read the music because I wasn't gonna remember it. And he taught me, I just had to hit like 
cheeseburger walrus. The part that I am worried about is that roll. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is take the roll aspect out of it. So it would be cheeseburger walrus French fry. I'll memorize that so much easier than notes. And he basically told me like practice the drum roll, but if you can't get it by performance day, then just do din, din. Meanwhile, I had to get everything correct. Very gently press your teeth on top of the other end. And you wanna be careful not to smash the reed down. And I want you to make a face like you just ate a lemon. And mm -hmm. then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put air to it. Wait, why is nothing happening? It took like 10 minutes just to make a sound into that freaking instrument. It was so difficult. And get a sound. <laughs> That's good. There you go. Is it a lot of breath? Yeah, you're gonna have to really push air. I thought the hardest part of a clarinet that was just getting the fingers uh, right and like memorizing where they are. Nothing to do with like actually making a noise. Yeah, you gotta make it too. So it'll sound like this. <laughs> the tooting was so bad. I was a bad tutor. You're gonna practice doing notes, practice while you're doing something else. The more time playing, the better it's gonna be. So please keep in mind, you have to be patient. Keep relaxed and have fun. Thank you so much, T. Thank you. All right, so I just had my first class and I am officially terrified. I'm getting somewhere. I can make a sound. Oh, geez, my neighbors are gonna hate me. I got the music. I don't know what this music says. All I can freaking remember is cheeseburger walrus, cheeseburger walrus. So my first practice, I was basically just trying to memorize cheeseburger walrus and trying to go as fast as I could. All I did was basically listen to the song and then recreate that. <laughs> Mm. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. I decided to call my mother because I was like, help. <laughs> I use my nose to take in breath. How to use your nose and your diaphragm at the same time? <laughs> Wait, I think I did it. Let's see how long you can blow it out. She made fun of me because my breathing was so bad. She was really? like, I could hold my breath in a note for 45 seconds. It's like, you have to fill up this entire thing with air in order for it to make a very clear sound, which makes sense. So I can't just like, like puff into it. You know what I mean? This is honestly even harder than like working out or like a sport because yeah. it's like i don't even know how band kids do it it's just so much dedication truly everything i've heard from everyone i've talked to said that this is one of the hardest instruments to play just making a noise is the hardest part and that i'm doing okay i am such a perfectionist i say this for every video you do. i don't enjoy doing things that i'm not good at yeah, which but... is obvious that i'm not good at it but it's like yeah, how do you get good Practice. Special gift, I would you hope. Practice! I hate it. It's not perfect, but it's something. Also, the clarinet produces so much saliva. Not the clarinet, I do. You! I, I produce so much saliva. God, I just unattached my clarinet to clean it. And a lot of spit just fell out. Ew! Trying to practice again. I'm attempting to just get the tune. Okay, that was a little bit better. I decided to take it upon myself and exercise a little bit because that expands your lungs and I've been doing nothing but sitting in my room playing Animal Crossing. I'm gonna go on a run for the first time in maybe over a year. This is the depths I'm going to in order to be good at this freaking instrument. <laughs> at this point, I memorized basically the whole song, but it was like, didn't sound good. I can get the top part. Maybe if I just go fast, maybe they won't be able to hear that as out of tune when Jazz is playing the drums. <laughs> well, that's it for today.
It came to the time where me and Lindsay were ready to practice together. Ready. Put your little chapstick on it. Cute. This is how I practice. I do the court grade. I wet my reed in my mouth. I can't. I feel super <laughs> one with the clarinet. There was something about coming together and hearing the song with the percussion that just made me lose it. <laughs> <laughs> We're adults poorly playing this marching band song. Yeah. We couldn't get through practice. It was all my fault. <laughs> so you can't get past the first <laughs> note. I think that sounded kind of right. I mean, <laughs> yeah. We practiced for like a good hour yeah. together. <laughs> I think we're gonna get better. We're gonna have another practice. Yeah. I'm to the point where I'm just like, we gotta show up and we gotta show out. Oh, like, yeah. that's that. So it is our last practice before our performance. And since we have not played in front of anybody, I invited Kate to come and watch us and give us any critiques. Los Angeles, this goes out to you. <laughs> Yeah, Kate did one of those things where we finished the song and your parents would be like, huh. Okay. <laughs> I know that voice. Okay. You have one speed. Yeah. And you just go. And yeah. Lindsay goes slower than the song goes. Uh -huh. You have to work together. Our pacing was completely off. Yeah, Kate brought it to our attention that like, we are not playing this together like it sounds like we are. <laughs> For her to practice and be in time with you, she has to slow it way down. We'll go one, two, three, four. So that's, so I'm on one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Okay. During our last practice before our performance, we ultimately came to the conclusion that like, okay, maybe it's not a good idea to go as completely fast as the original, but not like super slow either. Because when we played it super slow, it sounded like we were playing- A funeral march. A funeral march. <laughs> I went home after that performance and tried practicing some more and nearly cried because I was so mad that it sounded awful. I have fun with this when I sound good and when I don't sound good, I hate everything. It just feels like if I just perform tomorrow and it's crap, like all the work I've done is just pointless when in reality, it's not pointless. It's just like, I'm not good yet. Lindsay's struggling a little bit just because she has to like memorize stuff and like learn how to play this instrument when she screws up she like stops we're not playing beyonce like no one knows this song no one knows if you mess up i don't even know if you mess up just keep going i have full confidence in her i really do think that she's gonna be okay i think she's gonna be a little bit nervous but we both are you know i should just like go in tomorrow and just try to have fun with it and like whatever happens happens it's performance day Oh my gosh. It was a stressful morning. I was ready to perform. Lo and behold, my damn uniform wasn't delivered. I wasn't stressed last night. I wasn't stressed this morning. And now I'm like, where's my outfit? We might have to make outfit changes. This is what we were supposed to wear. But I got mine, Jazz didn't get hers. But we're in this together. So we ended up just wearing all black. Yeah. It's showtime! How do you feel about your outfit, Jess? I'm a little sad that we didn't get to wear our flashy yeah. jackets. If we sounded bad, at least we'd look good. Right. It's less than a minute performance. How bad can it be? I mean, well, no, it can never be mind. It could be bad. So we couldn't have a full band concert, obviously, because we're in quarantine right now. We're social distancing. So we decided to become a little traveling band oh and gosh. visit some of our friends. Principal also! Oh, wow. Hey! So we um, swung around to the back alley of Principal's apartment. This one goes out to Joyce. Joyce. 
Joycey was breaking it down. Oh, yeah. Maya started laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I just moved in here, and they're gonna be like, kick her out. Maya uh, thought we needed some work. Yeah, you She's did. right. Oh wow. We love you, LA. One of the neighbors started clapping. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We love the support. The drums are pretty hype, but uh, Lindsay, your, your clarinet is uh, a little flat. He <laughs> <laughs> said she was flat! <laughs> hey! <laughs> it was really good. Thanks. I enjoyed that. Jazz, she's a drummer girl. I was disappointed in my sound, in my performance, oh no. through all of it. But as long as we made them happy, gave yes. them a good show, we yes. looked cute, we did our best. Truly. Last but not least, yeah. our band teacher. The time is here. We are about to call the band instructor. I'm ready for honestly this to be over with. Lindsay's freaking out about a read. It doesn't sound right. We've been performing all day. No one's paid us. <laughs> like, let's go. <laughs> Perfect. No. But he was impressed. He was. You have a steady beat going on. You're listening to each other. You're playing with each other and adapting. He was like, it means more that you guys were a team and came together. This is awesome. Aww, thank thank you. you. It was my dream to play drums, you know? And just to get that little bit of a taste of it was really, really great. Even though I didn't get to the sound I wanted to get to, I got to a sound. Right. And from what I've learned, that's good. I have always respected band, the teachers to the band members to all the hard work and dedication. I didn't know that this was literally a sport. It is an athletic skill. It is on another level that I never fully comprehended. Yeah. It's such a different experience from when we went to high school. Yes. People are dealing with a whole bunch of different stuff right now as well, just compared to last year, but I guess they're all memories. <laughs> it's gotta say something positive, like make the best out of it. <laughs> Thanks for watching all of our crazy experiences. Yes. If you haven't watched the other episodes, go watch. Yeah.